Hi everyone, welcome to DIY Mummy's Minute. Today we're going to go ahead and make a quick and easy cemetery cone. The cone vase was purchased at my local dollar store. It was $3 and the cones are a nice alternative. If you don't have a headstone, you can place this just at the grave site. It's also a budget friendly alternative to the saddles. So what you're going to need is some floral foam and this is just going to go right inside of your cemetery cone. This one was purchased at Dollarama for $2 and I can get a few cones out of this piece of foam. You're also going to need your hot glue gun and of course some florals. I'm also going to use a decorative birdhouse that I purchased at Michael's. It's in their spring, spring section and it was buy one get one free. Uh, the regular price was $7.99. And the birdhouse just adds a little special touch to the cemetery cone and you can personalize it whichever way you want. I've also added solar lights to the cone as well. So this is the first time I'll be using this box of floral which I purchased off Amazon. I'll post the link below and I purchased the box to make it easy. Sometimes I have difficulty figuring out which flowers look good together or uh, what goes what colors go with what colors so I purchased the box and that way I don't have to think about it I'm going to put this cone together and it's going to be super easy and simple I'll post the link below I'm not affiliated with it at all I just want to give you guys another option to create that's easy and budget friendly I was happy with the box of floral. I found there could have been a little bit more floral in there. I would have liked a few more flowers. Um, however, each flower and each greenery was attached to a pick or a wire, which made it really easy to create this cemetery cone. They also had different colors to choose from depending on your preference. So the first step is you want to add your foam to your vase. So to do this it's very easy. You're just going to take your vase and you're going to press it down into the foam to create the exact shape of the inside of that vase. And then you can just trim the sides using your hands just to clean it up a little bit. Once you have your foam in place, you can then go ahead and start decorating. So usually the vases, the bottom peg will come off just by a little twist. I'll usually take it off while I'm decorating um, just so I can stabilize it. I usually stick the bottom in a little piece of foam and that keeps it upright. So then I can go ahead and attach the floral and then I can also get a view of it all the way around. So I'm just going to go ahead and prep my flowers and I'll show you what was in this box. So it came with a bunch of white roses which were gorgeous. And then it also came with sunflowers, which were really nice as well. Um, and it came with some that were partially bloomed, so I loved that. There was a couple green small succulents, um, which was nice to add for greenery. And then it came with some orange berries, which I love adding berries to all the cemetery cones and the saddles. Um, I wish it had a little bit more berries because it only came with the one. There was also a few picks of different types of leaves, which you always want greenery in with your saddles and your cones. It's a nice fill in. And then it had a few other flowers, not sure the names, but they match the color theme, um, some pretty oranges and some pretty yellows. So to start, I went ahead and I grabbed the largest flower, which was a sunflower, and I'm gonna place it almost in the middle of the cone. And then wherever you want it to sit, you're just going to apply some hot glue all the way around the bottom. And you may wanna hold it there until the hot glue dries a little bit just to make sure it stays in place. So I left mine about five to six inches in height. And I'm just gonna continue with this process, adding each floral until your bouquet starts to really fill in. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take my personalized item. In this case, I'm using the bird house and I'm gonna place it in front. You wanna make sure it's visible and you don't want your bouquet too full before you add that personal item in. Once you have your personal item in place, you can then go ahead and start filling in your bouquet, adding all of your flower picks. I always like focusing on the front of the vase and really fill that in first. And then whatever I have left, 
I add to the back of the vase and fill it in. So here's what it looks like so far. It's really starting to fill in. You can kind of see some areas in the bottom, some little spots that I have left. So I'm going to continue with adding these florals and the greenery and we're really going to fill this in. So if you're still left with some space at the bottom, that's okay if you can still see some of the wires or the foam. I'll show you a little trick to really fill that in. First, let's go ahead and we'll add a bow to the front of it. It really adds a nice touch and it gives it a little bit more color. I'm using this black and white checkered and we're going to add a pom-pom bow. And to do this, I do have a tutorial. I'll post it in the description box. It's a step-by-step, -step, but it's a very easy bow. But you're basically just going to create a small loop, twist it around, make sure you have a tail on one end of the loop. This is going to be the middle loop of the bow. Then you're going to hold that pinch in the middle and then you're going to create loops on either side of the small loop until you got about four or five loops on either side, continuously holding that pinch in the middle. Then you'll take some twist ties and you'll put it through the middle loop and around the other loops, holding them all in place, creating the perfect pom-pom bow. And if that's not enough for a tutorial, go down and click in the description box on the how to create a pom-pom bow video, and that will give you a better step-by-step. -step. So to attach my bow, I'm just gonna take the twist tie and wrap it around one of the florals, and you can secure it a little bit more using some hot glue as well. And then you're going to trim up your tails by just folding them in half and then cutting upward, creating that little V shape on either side. Once your bow is in place, the last step is just really filling in the bottom so you can no longer see the foam part. So to do this, we're going to use some moss. This one was purchased at Dollarama and we're really just going to use a little bit and we're just going to cover the bottom with hot glue and stick this floral moss all the way around. And this is really gonna fill in that dead space at the very bottom. And that way you will no longer be able to see that floral foam. Don't forget to add your bottom piece to your cone. That way you have a place to stick it into the ground. So here's the finished product. I love how this turned out. I love the colors and I love how easy it was for the selection. I didn't have to think about it at all. So I do like the boxes. I do wish it was had a little bit more flowers in it, but that's okay. And I love the personal touch of the birdhouse. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it inspires you. Please like and subscribe for more DIY fun.